What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. Man, I don't even know how to even start these serious-ass videos, man, but I need to address this, get some things, not even get some things off my chest, man. Uh, George Floyd, let's talk about it, man. You know, f first off, I know everybody wants to see the reactions, the bar breakdowns, the fit videos, or what have you. We're going to get to that. I, I built this platform on, on, on YouTube, and I feel like this is the perfect opportunity, the perfect platform just to create some awareness and some healthy dialogue about such a controversial topic. And that's all this is, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I pride myself on being rational. One of the rational, one of the most rational people I know when it comes to controversial topics. It's a lot of times it's hard to, you know, separate emotion from topics that bring about a lot of emotion when they stem up. I'm, I'm guilty of it myself still to this day, but not as much as I was in the past. But, I mean, to actually get to the source of the issue, the root of the problem, that's all I, that's all I want to do. I'm not here to talk down on anything. I'm not here to complain about the way I view life, the way I view society, you know what I'm saying? That's probably beating a dead horse at this point, but I feel like awareness and communication and dialogue and just the sharing of information the sharing of perspectives is the only way that we're going to address this in a healthy way instead of just the madness and the craziness that's going on regarding this issue man and i'm just here to exp express my ideas express my thoughts express my beliefs on this issue and before i dig into anything let me preface everything i'm about to say with bad things are going to continue to happen people are going to continue to die people are going to continue to be killed in the most horrendous of ways it's not going to stop hate crimes are still going to happen rape going to still happen murder going to still happen all that's still going to happen you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to minimize any of those things at all but we're i'm here just addressing one particular topic um and let me preface this again by saying all cops are not bad cops all cops are not racist I would even I'd venture off further to say that majority of law enforcement does the right thing. They make the right decision at the end of the day. But when they do not make the right decision, then things like this happen and things that things like this need to be addressed. So, um, the, like two days ago, I posted on my YouTube. I posted something in relation to what happened to, you know, George. And at first, I was initially surprised by a lot of the feedback I got on the comments. And it wasn't a lot, but. It was a lot of feedback that I didn't expect because the, I would say the majority of people that responded or commented on the post didn't feel like what happened to uh, George was an, was an act of racism. I, I'm not even going to call it an act of racism. I just feel like that act stemmed from racism. His murder stemmed from racism. His murder stemmed from unfair treatment. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of, a lot of uh, people on there didn't feel that way. And I'm like, oh, damn, all right. And I'm trying to, you know, understand. I'm reading people's comments. And at the end of the day, all it is is a matter of perspective. I'm totally aware of the, the majority of the audience's background. Like, I'm the majority of, majority of the audience on my channel happens to be Caucasian men. I understand that. It's not only say two opposing views, but two different views in this matter because it's two different perspectives. And if, if, you, if I can't, if you can't look at the incident or look at the situation through the eyes of a black man i mean it's impossible to do that all we can do is like share our thoughts and our experiences and try to bring awareness to what's going on right and i'm trying to you know look at it through you guys' perspective and i mean it go it goes hand in hand it's the same way like if you're not if you're not looking living life this way and you don't see things how you how we see things then of course you're going to feel a bit differently because i mean racism is a very triggering word and it triggers different responses and different emotions from you know a variety of people it's very triggering and there's a lot of emotion packed in that word racism so you know i w i mean i would understand why uh someone that doesn't share that doesn't share the perspective that i have would feel differently about it like how can you prove this is an act of racism let me be the first to tell you there's no way i can prove that this was an act of racism and it was stemmed from racism only way i could prove that is if the officer self-admitted to being racist and they would be insane to do so like most people don't even want to fess up to a crime that they commit because they're afraid of the consequences and repercussions of that act so and risk racism is a whole different ball game like you don't want to be known as a racist you know what i'm saying like racism is a very strong word 
just that in itself. That's why it triggers so much emotions, and and it's 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 layered with you know historical you know hor horrendous events attached to it. So that's it's just a lot that goes on there when you throw that term racism out. But let's be honest about this. All right, there's levels to it. There's levels to racism. All right, one end of the spectrum, you have an outlandish, outright blasphemous act of racism. This could be, you no, know, just uh, an African American, a black man being lynched on the tree. You can't get, you can't really get no more racist than that, right? But then you have another opposite end. I don't even say the opposite end because I don't know like the weakest or the, the smallest amount of racism that someone could, you know, or act out. But like you have a white man, a white lady that walks up on a black man or or a black lady on the sidewalk and they feel the need to get go on the opposite side of the street to walk on the other opposite sidewalk to feel safe you know what i'm saying and that's based on how someone looks color of their skin and what's and what they have attached to that what they have what has what society has placed on this race that makes another person of another race you know respond in a certain way and and that's more of what I'm I want to you know speak about or address because I'm not I'm I don't even want to say that that guy kept kept his knee on the back of George's neck because he's racist as fuck and he hate black guys and wants them all to die. That's not what that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm trying to say. It's not what I've been ever trying to say. You no, know, that's that's not my agenda here, you know. But I believe there's no way I can prove it. I believe that certain individuals respond react to black people a certain way for whatever that case may be but but since there is a a black person and they're eliciting a different response from this individual compared to other individuals and it's based on how this person looks by the color of his skin that's racist and like i said there's no way there's uh, i don't i don't believe those cops killed george because he was black that's not what i'm saying but i believe it i believe if george was a white man Everything would have been down, would have went down in an entirely different way. I'm only addressing the black lives, the, un, the, the unarmed black men that have been murdered by law enforcement unjustly. That's what I'm referring to right now. And that that happens to black men more than happens to anybody else. I'm, I know that shit happens to everybody. White people kill white people. White cops kill white people. White cops kill black people. Black cops kill white people. You know, or vice versa. But I'm talking about this small percentage of the incidents that happen in regards to law enforcement and black people. And then I, I'm going to give it the general label of unarmed black people being killed because that's what it is. If a man is unarmed, there's no reason why he should should have his life taken for whatever the case may be. But I'm talking about, I'm, I'm referring to the innocent and when I say innocent, I mean innocent in regards to somebody's life being taken. Even if George did commit the act of, act of forgery, it doesn't mean he deserved to die. You know, there's, there's levels to this. I feel like it's weird having to explain that. But the police are not the judge, the jury, and the executioner. They're not. You know, they're paid to serve and protect. And it's not their way or the highway. And I'm bleeding two topics in. Cause I'm, not, I'm not even... I'm going to talk about two topics at once right now. One is for the, the black people that are not doing anything wrong but are treated a certain way by law enforcement because they're black innocent not doing anything wrong but because they're black officers respond to them a certain way and that's i know it's a small percentage of people a small percentage of law enforcement but it still occurs and it shouldn't it shouldn't occur at all and then you have the black people that may be committing a crime just because they're committing a crime does not mean they deserve to die. Just because they're resisting arrest does not mean they deserve to die. Law enforcement is supposed to use lethal force to mitigate certain situations. When they feel severe bodily harm or imminent death can be a result of whatever this individual is doing. That's what that's for. So if nobody's in harm's way in that manner, if no one has the potential to be severely harmed stabbed impaled you no know, loss of limb car accident something like that you know what i'm saying uh organ puncture severely severe bodily harm or just death if this person is not posing a threat to the law enforcement agent themselves or the general public they're not supposed to die point blank bank period they're not they're not supposed to die and accidents happen i understand that when accidents happen law enforcement needs to be addressed accordingly 
they're paid to make the right decision. And when they don't make the right decision, they need to be held to the same standard as everybody else. I'm gonna fuck up they got a badge or not. They need to be held accountable just as much as anybody else does. So when we bring race into it, I, 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 and I can only use I believe or my experience or my what I've learned or what I've read or just me being black and how I feel being a black man in America. Law enforcement has a higher chance of being trigger happy or using too much force for someone that's black than anybody else. Why do I feel that way? Why do I feel that way? I'm not even gonna bring up the statistics. Statistics can be all, that for every for every statistic or every poll that is put out that's trying to prove, that's just trying to, you know, stray an audience a certain way, prove a certain point, there's gonna be another you know, survey, statistic, or whatever that's going to have the same information, but can pu can push the an aud another audience the opposite way, right? So we can go back and forth about stats. And, and if you're one of those individuals that want to like compare other victims to this, then this isn't the video for you. Like I said, ba bad shit happens every day. And if if I saw something that happened to a white woman or an Indian woman, an Asian woman, or whatever, we would address that. But this is what we're talking about right now. And law enforcement taking innocent black lives occurs way too much and occurs way too much more than anybody else why is that there's no there's no way we can prove there's no way we can we can lay out what's on an individual's mind and why they do what they do even if we could even if we could get them to tell us why they're doing what they're doing does that mean they're going to be honest about it it's self-preservation at the end of the day you're going to do what you need to do to make sure you come out the situation winning and no one wants to be looked at as a racist but I feel like all these acts stem from law enforcement looking at us differently than they look at anybody else. Let's put it like this. I'm not even going to bring statistics into it. If your typical white man gets pulled over by law enforcement for whatever reason, unless they're doing, unless they're act, actively engaged in criminal activity and they have a reason to be worried about an officer, if they're not doing anything wrong, would a white man ever feel like his life is in danger because a cop is behind him? Would a white man ever feel like his life is in danger because a, a officers were coming up to his window, knocking on his window. Would a white man ever feel like he needs to change his speech, his body p posture, put his hands on the steering wheel to make himself feel safe? Would a white man ever feel the need to change the way he is to make the officer feel comfortable if he's not doing anything wrong? Not doing anything wrong, and even if he is, if, if, a, if a tail lights out or a tent's too dark or whatever, does he feel like he needs to change in order to make the officer feel comfortable with him pulling him over? No, 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 no. And if somebody, if oh, hell no, white folks ain't got to deal with that. So maybe if we we could change the word to racism more to white privilege, that's 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 life. That's real life. If George was white, he wouldn't have been ripped out of his car like that for. He wouldn't have ripped out his car like that. He wouldn't have been forced to the ground. He wouldn't have had four motherfuckers pinned on him if he was a white man. It's speculation on my behalf. I realize that, but it would, it's not. It was, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And if 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 that did happen, and if it happened, the amount of times it happens to us, the fucking the them the United States of America would burn to the ground. But you know, I'm, I'm speaking for the. I can't speak for for the entire black community. But I feel like the majority of black community is going to see this is going to agree with me that black black lives do not feel like they are valued as much as others specifically white people not value just look at what has happened in the past when someone black is killed by accident on law enforcement or for whatever reason and they shouldn't have been killed the majority of the time those officers just they get their jobs back go back to work you know what I'm saying and it's just a lot it's another life loss and Sorry, sorry for you. We'll pay the family. We may pay the family. It sucks, but this is why you have the response you're having in Minnesota right now. I, I don't agree with that at all. But you have people that don't feel like they're unheard, unwanted, you know, uh, being killed, being, you know, pretty much hunted, man. Like, you have, if you have people that feel like that, that type of situation is going to happen. I'm not saying it's right, but that's the result of how the world and society has made black folks feel. So it's not, it's, not, it's not nothing you can prove as a feeling. Like, I feel that way. I feel that way. I feel that way. And I know the, ma the majority of the time if I get put over a cop, nothing's going to happen to me because I, I, first of all, I know how to move. 
I know how to move. I don't. I, I don't. I don't move the way I naturally move if I'm in. in uh, am I having an encounter with law enforcement? If law enforcement has their eyes on me, I, I act and walk and talk totally different. Even if I was just to be myself, I know the majority of the time I'm going to go home safely. But that's not. It's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. There's some. Some. It may be some one of those officers that feel a need to. Re they don't feel a need that just subconsciously or maybe is consciously act different towards me because of how I look their their prejudices towards me how they feel that I am well they're threatened by the way I look you know what I'm saying like I'm going to run into that and I have ran into that on multiple occasions and your rights are just your rights are taken away they're stripped from you they're, your rights are taken away they're stripped from you in order for you to get home safely your rights are taken away they're stripped from you whatever the officer says goes it's his way or you want a motherfucking casket it's the way the state it's the way the world is so when we see a black man get treated like that by law enforcement it's automatically going to be put in that racist category just because of the amount of times it's happened we can't prove that those motherfuckers are racist we can't prove it all we can go back is on how we feel and the historical events that have taken taken place up until this point, up until this point, and this shit continues to happen. It continues to happen. Like I don't know if I'm saying anything different than what I've heard said thus far. So I don't even know if this video is going to do what I had intended for it to do. Because there's no way that I can put in here. <laughs> the reason why I feel so strongly the way I feel the white black folks still feel so strongly the way we feel about this because we are the oppressed and try to and trying to make someone understand that is it's pretty difficult to do like unless you have been witness to it and even if you have been witness to it and there are a lot of white folks that have been witness to you know the difference in treatment that black folks get by law enforcement compared to themselves call it white privilege call it racism call it whatever it is it all stems from the same place so anytime anytime you see something like that because it, hap it happens so much anytime you see something that happens to George Flynn you're going to assume that that not, you're, yeah, you're going to assume because we can never know we can never know but you can only assume that that comes from the same place that all this bullshit comes from racist white privilege prejudice all of this discriminatory bullshit it all comes from the same place and i believe if george was white that would not have happened to him no way i can prove it no way i can prove it but to rip someone out their car because of a fake twenty dollar bill force him to the ground and do him the way that they did him and it's on television <laughs> It's on television, and those those cops are not even in jail yet. They was they were fired. Had that been a white man, come on, bro, come on, man, come on. Y'all gotta keep it real. I gotta keep it one hundred. Y'all have to keep it one hundred. Somebody was murdered on national TV, and they're still walking around. And that, and that happens to us all the time. And and it ha it happens to us all the time. This just happened to be recorded because black life is in value the way. Other, uh, wait, well, I'm gonna say white folk life is value because I'm not gonna speak for the the Asian community, the Hispanic community, the Indian community because they all go through their shit too. The racism is, is is here; it's not gonna go anywhere. But in regards to the individuals that are supposed to protect and serve, we're supposed to we're supposed to feel safe from. Niggas don't feel safe. Black folks don't feel safe. African Americans do not feel safe. They don't, and that's the issue. And we don't feel safe. Because what you saw happen to George Flynn. And what you saw happen to Eric Garner. I, I'm not, I mean, y'all can go through the list. Y'all see it all the time, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. So, but anyway, man. Um, we, we can talk about it. These are one of those, those, these are one of those conversations that you're... Yeah, you know, your average person is going to get irate about it and get all emotional about it. I, I get emotional about it because it's sad, you know what I'm saying? But you still have to get to the source of the problem. And I don't know how we're going to get to the source of the problem because there's nothing you can actually prove. It just happens too much. There's nothing we can prove. But at the same time, we feel how we feel. Like, bad shit happens to the people all the fucking time. But I guarantee you, 
you're a white man, white women, you don't feel scared when law enforcement pulls up. You're black, you're scared regardless if you <laughs> are doing something against the law or not. I guarantee you, if you ain't doing nothing wrong, cops tell you to get the fuck up, get out your car, like, you're going to feel some type of way about it. And you're going to speak your mind, too. We can't do that. We can't do that. We cannot do that. We do that. You choose to do that. You have to, you have to be willing to go through the consequences that a black person will typically go through. Not typically. Not typically. Well, go has a higher chance of going through than any other fuck any other person any other white person you gotta be ready for it because you don't know how they're going you don't you, it's, you can't trust them you can't trust them that's right me a little gesture you can't trust them mama you can't trust them mama you can't trust them not all of them you always gotta have your guard up you always gotta have your spider sense going off and law enforcement pull up on you because you don't know what's gonna happen and then to navigate that situation as best as possible you have to do what they want you to do even if you're doing everything right you ain't breaking the law you have to do what you want them to do in order to guarantee you getting home and, and that may that may not even guarantee you getting home it may not it's crazy but yeah man um just trying to I don't know. Speak, speak my thoughts. Healthy dialogue here. Um, that's what we want. Just bring, create more awareness. And this ain't gonna be the last person that something terrible is gonna happen to. Definitely not gonna be the last black man to get killed by the cops that's having this type of, you know, mess surrounding it. Somebody died the way he died. Somebody need to be in jail. Point blank. Period. Point blank. Period. But uh, talk to y'all later, man.